Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in the village near the forest. Whenever she went out, the little girl wore a red riding cloak. So everyone in the village called her Little Red Riding Hood. One morning, Little Red Riding Hood asked her mother if she could go to visit her grandmother, as it had been a while since they seen each other. Amen. Father, can I go visit Grandma? Oh dear, that's a good idea. Do you want me to go with you? It's okay, Dad. I can go my own. Besides, I knew the way the grandmother's coffee. Well, in that case, just be careful, okay? Okay, Dad. When the basket is ready, the little girl put on her red clock and hug her mother and father goodbye. Remember, go straight to your grandma's house. Don't dawdle along the way. And please, don't go to strangers. The woods are dangerous. But when Little Red Riding Hood noticed some lovely flowers in the woods, she forgot her promise to her mother. She picked a few, watched the butterfly flit about for a while, listened to the frog croaking, and then picked a few more. Little Red Riding Hood was enjoying the warm summer day so much that she didn't notice a dark shadows approaching out of the forest behind her. Then suddenly, there, the wolf appeared. I am on my way to see my grandma, who lives through the forest, near the brook. Oh, really? Is she alone there? Yes, I am on my way to visit her. Sorry, I have to go now. The wolf in the meantime took a shortcut. The wolf, a little out of breath from running, arrived at grandma's and knocked lightly at the door. The wolf let himself in. in. Poor Granny didn't have enough time to say another forest. word before the wolf gobbled her up. <sighs> the wolf let out a satisfied purr. A few minutes later, Little Red Riding Hood knocked on the door. The wolf jumped into the bed and pulled the covers over his nose. When Little Red Riding Hood Don't entered the little there. cottage, she could scarcely recognize her grandmother. <gasps> Grandmother! Your voice sounds so odd. Is something the matter? Oh, I just have a touch of a cold. <coughs> but Grandmother, what big ears do you have? The better to hear you in, my dear. But Grandmother, what big eyes do you have? The better to see you, my, my dear. But grandmother, what big teeth do you have? The better to meet you with, my dear. Ah! Ah! Almost too late, ah! Little Red Riding Hood realized that the person in the bed was not her grandmother, but a hungry wolf. She ran across the room and that? through the door Did shouting, something, Help! Something help! Wolf! As loud it as she could. The woodsman ran towards the cottage as fast as he could. Where is the wolf? He grabbed the wolf and made him spit out the poor grandmother who was a bit fuzzled by the whole experience, but still in one piece. There, there, child. You've learned an important lesson. 
Thank goodness you've shouted long enough for this kind woodsman to hear you. Thank you, Mr. Woodsman, for saving us from the hungry world. It's my pleasure to help. But first, I have to get this rid of this wood. The woodsman knocked out the wolf and carried him deep into the forest where he wouldn't bother people any longer. Now Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother had a nice lunch and a long chat. Ha, 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 ha. 